Ooh, with the extra incentive enabled, I wonder if that is going to help or hinder my team. We're about to find out. So this is game one of Boy Gets, which is my team, versus the third men, which is Dazarin's team. We're starting on EU server for this one. And whoever wins, if one of us win this, the other will gift them 20 subs. Uh, the reason I chose this headset is because it's the exact headset that we use to cast every event I've ever done in Rocket League. So I got it so I could practice casting on it um, and therefore have an easier time when I go to events. And it turned out to be a pretty good idea because I did a lot of events um, and I was very comfortable with the mic because I'd used it many times. So Dazrin's team missed Torment turn to They got a lot of criticism or Dazrin got a lot of criticism for drafting this team. Uh, he's called it the third man because the other managers in NA were calling him uh, out for picking all third men for his roster. His initial three picks was actually um, missed Torment and Percy. I think Percy is a more defensive player, very defensive player actually. So missed Percy, Torment, all the most defensive players in the roster as Dazarin drafted them all. Um, but Percy actually couldn't play. So Dazarin's running with Turin Turo, who actually has a better connection to EU anyway and is a more aggressive player naturally so uh, they should I think be good on paper but that being said they have struggled today let's see if they can improve now going up against my squad I hope they don't I hope they continue to struggle but I hope my team can keep the composure because I don't think that the quality of play has been lacking for my team we tied with uh, team Roldis who are right now looking like the best North American team and we were beating team Athena pretty pretty handily right up until the moment where complacency kicked in and turbo popped off on the EU server. But uh, I'm more impressed so far with Dazarin's team than I was with Team Athena. This is a, a very high midfield line that they've got, so they're able to challenge the ball nice and early. They don't have to defend any close range shots. That's where you want to be, especially when you're on the away server. You want to be way up here and you don't want to have to react to things from point blank range. A really good stance here from third man. Really like that teammate from Dazarin, actually. It's a good idea. Big dunk for Monkey Moon. Cassio a bit too far back, a second man to move in on it. Now Exotic passes to him, and in infield to Monkey Moon. Oh! The French connection is too strong. Look at the passing plays. Exotic to Gassio to Monkey Moon, and he slots those. No biggie. Bottom corner. What a goal. Let's keep them up. Let's keep it up. Come on. Got to get these first two wins in the bag. At least guarantee that we're not losing any gifted subs to Dazrin. If we could just win the two EU games, pressure's on them. Oi, wait, 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 wait. Whoa! Where's the defense? What are they doing? What a pass by Torment, actually. What a pass. <laughs> Torment the god. He just like laid up the uh, Turin Turo perfectly. And it looks like my squad didn't have a third man in the play. I, I do think that when they leave somebody back, they look brilliant when uh, when my boys are leaving somebody in defense, pretty much at all times, just playing a really conservative third man position, then they look unreal. But when they try and be a bit aggressive and get the three man offense going, it doesn't look like it's working as well. So I would like to see them playing a bit more defensive, but that's up to them. Um, they've played with each other before many times without me being a part of the team. So I've given absolutely no input whatsoever to how they should play. Um, and I wouldn't want to in the first place. So they're doing their thing. But as an observer, I think they look better when they play a bit more defensive. Well, at least with one player. First casually chain dashing is, is Roldes popping off again. Who's Roldes up against in this round? Because Roldes could look for an EU win uh, again in the first couple of games here. I'm sure that they are. Good shot and a nice follow up from Torment. Good pre-jump save. Exotic doing work here in this game. Raz, oh yeah, I think Roldis could foro Raz team. Because Raz team has been struggling a bit against uh, some of the weaker NA rosters. Uh, Roldis, I think, is getting better and better. Now that's a risky move in there by Cassio, but at least he's landed on top of the player um, and make it, making a play on the ball. Lovely infield. Torment. Now Turo, what a save by Monkey Moon. It's Team Dazarin who have had the pressure right now. On the EU server, I really think that pressure is kicking in um, for the home teams. Because across the board in multiple matchups in the recent, or uh, more recent matchups in the event, 
home games have been uh, a real struggle. And this has been mostly Team Dazzler. Mostly the third men who are pressuring and looking for the win here. Lovely cover there by Cassio. He was, uh, you know, making sure, just didn't want to go too far in case the miss came through. Monkey Moon almost hits a double on target. Uh, here comes Torment. He's been practicing ones recently. I'm sure it's going to help him a ton in this event against a uh, brand new competition. Yeah, this is EU server game one. It's EU server game one and every single um, match for the rest of the day. Game one and two. Oh, that should be a goal. Wow. So much space for two and zero, but Monkey Moon and Exotic closed the gap before you could get through them. Now, when I said that I'd want to see a bit more defensive positioning from my team, I didn't mean from everybody. You don't want to back up with everybody. You just want to back up with one player. Have the long shot, have the hard clear covered. Miss looking for the reset here. Gets it. Very nice challenge by Exotic. He's out early. Didn't give Mist any space to actually use uh, that flip reset that he had. Denial by turn zero. Very nice play by Torment as well. This disruption in the midfield has been excellent from uh, the third man. It's a good read by Monkey Moon. Had the respect, or had a lot of respect in the flip reset in that play. Last chance of the game, at least in zero seconds. Falling down to the boy gets and almost a chance on net. Goes to a kickoff. Oh man, this is ner nervous, nervous situation to be in. My team's lost the last two EU server games that they played on. They really could use an EU server win here to get the confidence back in the home um, server. That's brilliant by Casio. Good defense by Turin Turo though. Stop him from getting through. Celtic ceiling pinch goes way over and Casio in reverse now. <laughs> Trying to make the play, not able to. Awkward for Monkey Moon. He does miss. That's open. Monkey Moon trying to dive bomb. Cassio's there, actually. The dive bomb. Save attempt. Now the double commit. Mist is uncontested here. A lovely play by Exotic. Forcing the early touch out of Mist. The double commits are coming in, though, for the boy gets. They are definitely struggling here. Communication is panicky, I would guess. Um, I would have to guess, because they're speaking French, so I couldn't tell you what they're saying, if, even if you did listen in. Dazrin's team right now have deserved this win. They've had several clear-cut chances. Game one has been theirs, but they haven't really committed uh, very much either. They're never going all in. Um, and that, you know, of course, does have the advantage of leaving you a bit more safe in every position. Uh, but the disadvantage is you, you might squander opportunities. They could have maybe um, done more with the chances they've had again off the bar no one's there to finish it these are the kind of plays I'm talking about where I think team Dazarin the third man could probably have a second man at the back post there just ready to smash that in as it comes across it's not the first time that's happened Monkey Moon again not trusting Cassio behind him Cassio should be trusted because look at this play great work coming out of defense now the scramble in the corner. This is a risky thing to commit to. Monkey Moon, I think, wisely doesn't jump in there. Just fakes a challenge instead. If he throws himself in there, not going to work out. And look at the speed. Monkey Moon ices it. But wow. The third man really, really put it on us this game. That was, I think, their game. It was their game. I think they should have committed more with their second man. I guess they don't have one, so that's probably why they didn't commit. They are actually just all third men. <laughs> they didn't have anyone trying to finish off those chances. So many times we saw the crossbar make a save for uh, Boy Gets, and then no one's there to bury it. No one's at the back post coming in hot. I guess maybe they do have a third man problem here. <laughs> it might be true. Uh, they are going to ask for a new server, which is perfectly within the rules. Once, this, once a game starts, um, you play it out, but you're allowed to ask for new servers between games. That is not a problem. What a relief, what a relief for my squad there. So come on, one more win. That's all we need is one more win, and I'm guaranteed that I don't have to gift any subs to Dazzer. That's all we're asking for, just win at least one more game. We've been drawing every single series today, drawing every match. Just one more win is all we need. Come on, boys. Come on, boy gets, I should say. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think they've got it? I think Mist is tabbed out right now. He needs to tab in, yeah. Because I saw his ping up at 144, I was like, that's not the same. <laughs> he tapped back in and it gets better. Raz team destroying, that's crazy. 
Yeah, trying to play, if you're looking at tiebreakers, trying to play defensive on your home games is probably a good idea um, for tiebreakers, but it's not a good idea for just play style because you, you really can, I think, get some free goals if you just get quick passing plays in offense. Like we saw in overtime in game one, that quick pass center to Monkey Moon, no way that Dazarin's team can react to that. It's just too fast. Um, so that's just a free goal for Monkey Moon. A player as fast as he is. A player with the max... Uh, does he play with maximum sensitivity? Or really, is, it's really high for sure. Monkey Moon's sense is insane. Now Monkey Moon 1v1 miss. Miss dives in. Monkey Moon will show him why that might not be the best idea. Extra says 4. I'm actually a keyboard mouse player, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> Monkey Moon with the solo play onto Mist there. I don't blame Mist for diving in though. I think that might even be a good idea because um, Monkey Moon had to really pay close attention to not fall for a rush challenge. Uh, obviously Monkey Moon, one of, if not the best 2v2 players in the world. He had his eye on Mist. He, he was able to see him coming forward, so he knew to flick the ball early. Oh, lovely interception. Look at Turin Turo. That was sick, actually. So that pass was not that... Uh, it wasn't obvious, by the way, that the car was being set up, but Turin Turo just hard read it anyway. I mean, from the angle of the approach, it could have been a shot, but he just knew the pass was coming. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew Monkey Moon's sense was really high, but I don't know what 4 means. <laughs> like, 4 out of what? What's the max? Is 5 the max? Is 10 the max? I don't know what the max is. Uh, you have no idea what sense does? So sensitivity, the way that it works in a controller, is when you move the joystick, it doesn't give you full acceleration in the direction that you move it until it reaches a certain point. Um, so if you have low sensitivity, you need to move the joystick further in order to get the full acceleration on your rotation. Uh, whereas on a keyboard, if you just press A or D on default controls, you get full, ex full acceleration immediately. Uh, unless, of course, you're using an analog keyboard, which I don't think are popular for Rocket League. I don't know if any pros that uh, use analog keyboard. Yeah, keyboard mouse players have the advantage that they play with max sense, uh, that they can just be very fast, but you don't get the precise movements uh, that a controller does. Like controller, you can dodge in 16 directions, keyboard, you can only dodge in eight directions. And the acceleration, the gradual acceleration, can actually be useful at times. So controller and keyboard, they both have their own advantages. I think they're both viable. KBM needs more actions per minute, so probably a lot harder to learn if you're a new player to stick with controller much much easier lovely demo there by exotic just taking out the biggest threat in the position i'm liking the way that dazzler seems playing i i uh don't know how he's been struggling so much but he he had a chat with me before this game i'm sure a lot of you were there for it and his description was that the um the games have been good like he's liked the way the team's playing but they just haven't had the results. And I think what's happened in this uh, match so far is a perfect example of that because actually they've had more pressure in both these games. They've had more chances uh, to score, more real, real chances, but they're losing. They lost game one also. So there's just that final you know, piece of the puzzle that they haven't found yet. Somebody might just have to step outside their comfort zone, be a bit more aggressive if they're gonna be able to force the issue uh, more often than they currently are. Nasty Rare dribbles over two. Bumps Torment. Clipped him on the landing there. And then chips it middle for Exotic. What a play by Cassio. Exotic double into the net. But wow, Cassio. 1v3. That little love tap on Torment. He even blocked Turin Turo. I, I can call that 1v4 even because Turin Turo came back into the play. Cassio outplayed him as well. He kind of used Turin Turo's challenge to pop the ball into the middle. Not sure if he meant that, but crazy. 9-2 for Razzlethor in game two. Oh my goodness, what happened in Razzlethor? This is like the the most ridiculous scoreline. And Monkey Moon should be scoring here. Takes it first time and misses Monkey Moon. Oh, he wanted to go for the... <laughs> I guess he just wanted to go for the rebound instead. What a read. <laughs> Look how early he's up for this. Before the ceiling bounds, no big deal. Passing is missed. <laughs> no open nets allowed. No open nets. Best player in the world. Hey, we all miss open nets, man. We all miss open nets. It doesn't matter who you are. Even if you're Monkey Moon, open nets are the hardest kind of shot to score. Hardest kind of shot. And yeah, this is excellent news because surely now we can just hold on to the lead. Don't throw it away. We're not going to do uh, what we did against Team Athena. We're not going to just uh, get complacent and start taking risks and leaving nobody in defense. Um, hopefully from this position, we can win this. 
And then all we need is one more win, and we get gifted subs from Dazarin. Or two more, and it's far you gifted subs. <laughs> oh man, it's so nice when you're winning 2-0 and you know you can't lose any subs. It's all winning. Maybe I'm speaking too soon because this is looking a bit a bit dodgy here. Let's let's just keep it keep it chill for a bit. Nice. Exotic, good job. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy with how my team's playing as well. Um, I think the lesson learned against Team Athena will be valuable to them. You know, they, they were dominating that series, then they let their guard down a little bit, ended up losing uh, one game, then of course the uh, Monkey Moon DC happened, so with that experience in the back pocket, I think that they are going to become even stronger. Um, this is EU server, so it's still very possible that the third men will be able to come back and 2-2 this. My team has gone 2-2 with everybody so far, so uh, I'm probably going to end up in a tie break at this rate for 6th place, which isn't ideal, but it's not the worst. Oh, I go by Turo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Smad stands for Salt Mine Atlantic Craft. What's Dazarin, Dazarin uh, still talking trash, or what's happening on Dazarin's stream? Is he balding? Dazarin uh, upset. It looks like um, Dazarin hasn't made his team aware that one of the tie breaks is away goals. They should, even at this moment, be pushing for goals. Because if they get one goal here, that does improve their tie break. It's a, it's a, one of the later tie breaks. First of all, there's points, win-loss differential. Uh, then you have uh, away wins, and then you have away goals. But they should, be, they should still be trying to get a goal here. You never know. He just wanted to score at least once. Well, his team didn't, by the looks of things. They just wanted to go next, but... <laughs> All right, let's get the next lobby up. We're in US East now. All right. The boy gets have won their last two games on US East server. Let's get right back to that. Thank you very much. Let's just go ahead and get another win. And we just finished Dazarin right here right now. Let's just get him out of the way with. Let's just get him out of the way with. Why was Scrub not picked? Because EU is really stacked with talent and Scrub right now has been a while without a big result and you know, all the players who are who have been uh, nominated for the EU draft have had recent success so recently Scrub hasn't been a top 24 EU player but he just got uh, signed by Dignitas so I think he'll be joining the top 24 EU conversation um, as soon as uh, they put in a tournament result I'm sure he's gonna look I think I, I, I think that roster will be good but you know thinking a roster that is gonna be good is not a good enough reason to call a player top 24. I do rate Atlantide Wave players. I rate them. I think Atlantide Wave are kind of around that 30th, top 30 range for EU. Uh, I think if I was going to nominate any of the Atlantide Wave players, it would probably be Rodosin. But Rodosin, Size, and Prime, they're all very, very close. Uh, I, I don't really have a massive preference of one of them over the other. I did have other players I was going to nominate before I got to the Atlantide Wave trio though. My my next players I would have nominated if we needed more for the EU draft were Arju, Oli, um, and I've forgotten who the... There was definitely another one but I'm forgetting right now. Um, actually I think that might have been the two. That was, yeah, that was the main two for me. Yeah, so Oli, Oli and Arju. Yeah, Arju. Arju is my next. So, Tho actually did get nominated, but only three of the managers voted yes on him. I was one of the managers who voted yes. I did want Tho in the draft, um, but he, three of the managers uh, decided he was slightly outside the top uh, 24 for them. And I can maybe see why, because Tho does have a very particular way of playing, and it might be difficult to draft a team that works for him. Um, it's hard to say. He has actually had success on two, uh, maybe three different rosters, the Flying Dutchman, um, in in uh, IWO, he played with Mike Boy and Oli, and they did good. But um, yeah, I, I said yes to Tho. I think Tho is top 24, but I can see why uh, some of the other managers might have had him slightly outside. So he is a very. Um, Tho is a very peculiar player in the way he plays. He just kind of. I, I guess dominates is a way that I could say it, but he doesn't just dominate the opposition. He also you know, uses a lot of boost and calls for the ball a lot, uh, you know, stuff like this. He, he, he likes to, be the, to like dictate the flow of the game. And sometimes it's easier in a draft to have support or support players be picked late on.
to go along with the, the starter picks that you've already got um, locked in. Players like Monkey Moon, players like um, your big, you know, your big mechanical players, who are going to probably be your main offensive prowess. You don't need a another big pressure guy. You need somebody who's going to support that and bring the best out of them. So yeah, I, I think Flo's good. Oh, what shot, Casio! Oh, Dazarin's in trouble. Dazarin's in big trouble here. For some reason, my team's better on USC server. We've had more pressure. We've had more chances. And we've not looked anywhere near as rusty in defense. I think the look at the away server coming in clutch. Everybody's saying, oh, it's impossible for EU to win an NA. Possible for NA to win an EU. Well, SMAD would say otherwise if what we're seeing right here is uh, anything to go by. This will be if my team can hold on. The third win in a row on the USC server. Monkey Moon absolutely in control here. Big challenge by Mist. Casio drawn in. That does well. Look at the positioning of Exotic, just helping out Casio there. Staying close to the, if the ball does spill loose, he'll be first there. Oh, that was close. Bit harsh, because this is a very nice pass by Turin Turo, but... <laughs> what is this? How does it pinch straight into the middle from here? That's ridiculous. There was, there was so many different chances, or so many different directions this ball could have pinched in that would have been just fine, and it pinches in the worst place possible. <laughs> straight into the back wall where Mist can attack it, so... Bit unlucky for uh, Boy Gets there, but um, they were really close to saving it anyway. Good try. Yeah, it was kind of like a mark by 8-1, but when you're doing it that close, uh, you're more likely to hit the back wall than you are the goal, just because of where the pinch is happening. So I think yeah, we saw there it did hit the back wall, it didn't go on target, just because of how the ball tends to pinch out from that position. Oh, look at this, though. Slotted! Casio to Exotic! You know, these guys are showing us today that it is not Team Monkey Moon. Monkey Moon sitting back, just watching and applauding and absolutely in awe of his teammates. What a connection once again. Love the positioning by Exotic there. He made himself so easy to pass to and simultaneously he made himself very difficult to defend because it was hard for the defense to cover uh, the shooting angle. Monkey Moon with a clean beat. Almost a top corner shot there over the top of a goalkeeper. It's coming in again. Monkey Moon feeling like a third goal is on the cards for them. But what, you, what I want to highlight in that play is although Monkey Moon was being extremely aggressive, breaking rotation as second man, the third man wasn't like getting a bit too far forward. They were very, very reserved in the third man position there. So I like the balance that uh, the boys have gone for in that play. You're being very, very aggressive with your second man, but very passive with the third man. You need that. You can't, from what I've seen today, you can't be overly aggressive with your third man. This isn't, um, you know, a, a well-rounded roster have played together for an entire season. I, I know if that's BDS, the whole team's up and they're all, you know, just constantly stealing boosts and demoing and making pressure plays, but you can't do that when you're on the away server. And once again, Casio just chilling. Oh, what a shot by Misto. Oh, what a finish. Casio has beamed it here. I'm going to be honest. He has beamed it because that should be back corner. He's tried to go for, I think, a shot on target, but he dodged the wrong way and it just went nowhere. His positioning was great, but the touch was not. I mean, you don't need another goal. It's seven seconds left. I think he has to go back corner there. Just hit it back corner. Go after it. Keep it under control. Now it's Team Dazarin. who have been gifted a chance to get the win. Casio looking to make up for his earlier error. But the uh, pass to Exotic doesn't quite come back his way. Once again, my team's low-key thrown. <laughs> Not for the first time. Bit of a thrill there. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a blunder. But they're looking good. They're still looking good here. And they're going to get the win. 20 gifted subs. Where are they? Where's the 20 gifted subs, Daz? Where are they? I'm waiting. <laughs> Composure. Composure. That's what we like to see. Composed. 20 subs. <laughs> yes. See, they knew. They knew, but they didn't let that get to them. They just stayed... Stayed calm. Casio knows he's thrown the, the game away there, but no big deal. They just get the job done anyway. And, ah, uh, does it feel good to finally get a win on the board? Still in the running for 40 subs. I mean, Dazarin might just wait. It might be 40. 40 if... I'm going to say 40 if sweep. Hold on. If sweep pog. Thank you, Dazarin. <laughs> 
Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be writing that in the game chat when the game's about to start, but... <laughs> Thank you for 20 gifted subs, Dazri, and hey, good luck in game four, man. You're gonna need it by the looks of things, because this has really swung heavily in the boy gets favor. Okay, he says exotic. <laughs> oh no, I've put him off. <laughs> I've immediately put him off, right? Luckily, we're not losing anything here. We have nothing to lose. It's just like, we're either going in, like, you know, even or winning more. That turn zero is the one save. <laughs> uh, I might have distracted them. Sorry, Exotic. I put you off your game. That's my bad. That was entirely on me. I'll take the blame for that one. Um, oh! <laughs> wow. The third men are trying to save Dazrin here. What a play by turn zero. That first touch onto the floor is beautiful. That was so well done. That was so well done. He, he hit it into a place that was just far enough away for himself to make the defender think that he didn't have it, but just close enough to himself that he actually does have it. So perfect bait um, and uh, finish there. So 2-0 down. You know, I'm already looking at this as a big win. This is what we should have done against Team Athena. We're getting it done last series of the day. I think my team's getting better and better as this, as this tournament goes on. I think we're, we're definitely capable of a very, very good run very good run deep into playoffs so we're just going to take it one step at a time respect every opponent we come up against and let the class do the talking let the play do the talking on the field but yeah this is going to be tough now two goal deficit at least it's early in the game so there's plenty time to work with but oh look at exotic the awareness for the boost deal he waited on the boost deal even though monkey moon's in defense Wait, Mist was gifted a sub? Was Mist one of them? Wow, what, are the, what if Dazrin's 20 gifted subs was Mist? <laughs> oh, go on, Exotic. Get the finishing touch. Go on, mate. It's out to the middle. I don't think Cassio's got boost to attack that. But Exotic's probably going to stay on. Oh, he leaves it, actually. I thought Exotic would just go straight for the ball there because when your uh, third man is way back like that, it's actually better to pressure the ball generally than it is to just rotate because if you pressure the ball, your, your third man can just chill wait and see what happens and then most likely get a free touch. Lovely bump there by Torment. I think Monkey Moon is a bit off with the read there. Not entirely sure. Wow. Exotic with the mind games. Wow. Yeah, Exotic's such a good player. So glad that he got put into the draft. I was I was kind of worried that the other managers wouldn't want Exotic in the draft because obviously he didn't have the best RLCS season next, but I think off-season he's been insane. I, I think he's underrated and I really wanted to pick him <laughs> as well. So I'm glad that he got in. What's happened in the other streams, by the way? What's uh, Who's winning? Have any of the other EU teams been able to take a game on US East? Yeah, he did. He won, he won DreamHack 2s and DreamHack 3s against some very, very tough opposition. What a finish. Oh, what a save, though. Monkey Moon. That is so disgusting to be able to save that on the away server. Like how, he has to just straight up read that. He has to completely read where the ball is going because like the time that he's got there between the shot and having to make the save is almost nothing. And you know, plus human reaction time and what the you know server uh, ping is at for him. He has to just completely read where that is going and when. Oh, <laughs> what's going on? Why is that not a goal? That looked like it should be a goal, but I think it was probably uh, another crazy looking goal by Scramble. And uh, yeah, Team Dazrin is threatening consistently here. Another save by Monkey Moon. Whoa! 50 month there by Jesse. How are you doing, Jesse? How's your team getting on? Have you played your uh, your third match yet? I know your team's like second in the leaderboard right now. Only losing to Team Smells, which is pretty good. What a comeback. I was, I was watching the comeback earlier. You're playing after this? Nice. Yeah, I've been tuning into your games. They're, uh, the first uh, series against... Team Rizzo is crazy. I, could, I thought, oh no, they're crumbling, but then they just <laughs> they just came back, so well played to them. I think that's been a... they won everything so far. Yeah, my team have drawn both of the series before this. Roldis team was a draw, because I think Roldis team's really good. Then we threw against Team Athena, and Monkey Moon disconnected as well in game four. Bit unlucky, but still got the draw there. Not terrible. And now we're guaranteed to win against Azrin. It just depends, is it going to be 3-1 or 4-0? Um, I would love for it to be 4-0, because then I get 20 gifted subs from Dazrin. But it looks like the third men are putting out their best performance last. 
They scored, they scored a very nice goal, actually. Turn zero scored a banger to put them 2-0 ahead, so you can't be salty about that one. Free jump Monkey Moon. What? <laughs> wow. Monkey Moon's had a great game, even though what a boy gets are losing this one. He's had a great game. That's almost in. Man, that would, that would be the second hard clear. Monkey Moon just literally scored today. And he's quite unlucky that he didn't uh, get a goal here as well. A lot of chances for both teams here in this last game. Yeah, I, I think uh, right now the teams that look the best, or the teams that I've seen looking the best, are uh, Smellsworth's team, Jesse's team. I'm going to throw my team in there. I think they've looked like they played really well. They've looked really good, and they, they are like now in the top half of the table as well. I also think Roll This team, I rate Roll, Roll This team was very good when, I, when uh, my team played against them. They're, they're the four that I think are the biggest uh, threats at the moment. But I think uh, Rizzo's team could make a comeback if they can pull themselves together. I know that that roster is very stacked as well. Um, yeah, Dazarin. Actually, Dazarin and Rizzo's teams are both stacked, but they're struggling. Uh, they, I think Dazarin's team, uh, especially in the first two games in this set, did not play aggressively enough with their supporting players. They were a bit too far back with their supporting players, so they couldn't get goals.